Makers of smart technology are targeting parents who want to keep a closer eye on their babies. The doctors warn it could give a false sense of security. <laughs> For new parents, it's the sweetest sound. <laughs> but when baby goes to bed, the makers of a high tech baby monitor, Owlet Smart Sock, claim the technology can help ease parents' minds. Would you trust your child's life to a product like this? No, not 100% not no. Bria White took an owlet sock home to use over a weekend. Give me those dinky feet. She recorded the owlet as it monitored her five month old daughter Luna's heart rate and oxygen levels through a smartphone app. <laughs> the monitor goes from green to red if something appears to be wrong. It kind of scared me. I was feeding her and my phone was blinking red and it was like low oxygen levels. It took me a while to go through the app and say, okay, why? What could be causing this? And I finally clicked and I was like, Oh, okay, I see. It's feeding. And then it gives you a whole list of reasons why it could be inaccurate. Pediatricians say those false alarms are part of the problem with at home monitors like this one. The alarm goes off and lead to parents taking their baby to the doctor or to the emergency room for evaluation when really, in fact, no evaluation and no worry is necessary. But Jennifer Smith disagrees. If that alarm wouldn't have gone off that night, I, I don't know what would have happened. Smith credits her outlet's warning for possibly saving her daughter's life. I was able to get her upright, get her on her healthy lung, pat her back, and her oxygen shot right back up to 98. But the American Academy of Pediatrics warns against monitors even naming this product. Do not use home cardiorespiratory monitors, i.e. the outlet. We asked outlet co-founder Kurt Workman about the statement. They're not saying don't use the product. They're saying don't use the product to prevent SIDS because it hasn't been proven yet. So doctors say the best way to keep your baby safe is traditional sleep practices like placing babies on their backs to sleep and avoid bed sharing.